The tool that I'm going to show you today is called Padlet. It is a virtual bulletin board. First, I'm going to log in right here. And it's a great place to add um, information that you want an entire class to see and be able to reflect upon if you want to record um, assessments. Uh, we've used it to put everything you know about a subject matter so they can review for a test, um, for parents to leave a note for their kids. There's endless uses for this great little bulletin board, but it is virtual so it can be shared digitally. So the first thing that you want to do is click here, make a Padlet. And with this, you're going to choose the type of flow and you can change this at any point, even once the Padlet is made. I usually choose wall because it's quick and um, it generally is the default. You notice here it called itself my swanky wall made with a dash of wit, which I actually like. I may keep it, but you can pop over here and change the title. I generally put, bes um, besides this, I usually get rid of it, but I'll leave it and I'll add what I want the students to be able to do and then I'll tell them how to post to the Padlet which instead of typing, I'm going to show you. I'll keep the blue, but I want you to see that these are different wallpapers, which are the backgrounds, so you can see how it changes um, once you just click on that wall. So let's go back to that pretty blue um, where we started. And then that's the wallpaper, and we're gonna come out of this one. You could also add your own picture. From there, you want to scoot down and we're going to add a little icon right here so i'm going to click more and it gives you a few to choose from not a lot we'll put a little light bulb and then come out of that we want to make sure that we choose how we want uh, the posting to be displayed if you want the students to comment on each other's work or not you could also grade star vote um, on the different posts, which is kind of neat, and you have options right here. Um, and then, you, most importantly, I think you want to change the URL. So this is my swanky wall. Um, so I usually title it whatever it is for the uh, lesson that I'm teaching. So um, if you noticed, once we put that in, and say next, what happened up here is this URL change. So it becomes the URL that kids will use to access your actual Padlet. You can just um, decide your privacy if you want the students to be able to write um, and comment on each other's work. There's lots of different things you can, you can do. Now I just lost that, so I hit that little flower cog wheel again so I can make sure that I have done everything that I wanted to do. So here, I got what I wanted. Uh, these are, you can share them right here. You can invite collaborators in. There's lots of things you can even um, print these. You can remake them. There's a lot you can do. But what you wanna do is double click, type your, I always tell the students to type their name here. You can also add that into your background of um, when you're planning your Padlet, but that's included. They can type here add an attachment, take a picture, all these little things, if you hover over them, they light up. Um, so they can add anything that you want them to do. I could even ask them to add a link to a slideshow that they're creating. And what that will do is allow other students to take a look at it and be able to reflect on um, each other's work and give feedback. So that's Padlet. I hope you like it and use it yourself in your classrooms.